Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hey Vanna, there she is. <laughs> Humphrey Family Homestead. She's giving them some water. I kind of had an idea to move the chicken bucket to this area because there's tons of flies over here on the outside. So I want them to get, I think they're just not finding it. And that could be that I don't know what I'm talking about. But if I put it out here and the flies find it, then maybe I can move it back there later today and they'll uh, what do you migrate <laughs> to the bucket so that's gonna be my plan she's just giving them some water and some food for the morning coming in there's a chicken right behind you wearing the GoPro on my head instead of the phone got some extra zip ties to put it back up can you hold that for me yep thank you baby I just realized I don't need those zip ties for a while <laughs> That didn't work. <laughs> there we go. I'm too tall for this chicken coop. I got a duck when I walk in it. So there are a bunch of flies, I don't know if you can see them, but right here is a bunch of flies. So I'm going to put this bucket right here and hope the flies find it. They're already landing on it. So hopefully later today, and I'll, this will be a longer video, it won't be just a normal um, update video, which I've been doing from the phone using it like just doing for like a minute minute and a half this will be a little bit of a longer video to see if we make some progress so uh we'll check back in here about halfway through the day and see what we're doing all righty go check on the bucket and see how it's doing i got some uh sunflower seeds for them just as a little treat since I'm coming out here anyways. They look like they still got some grain on the ground. So they might not be, no. The... So I took the lid off. I put in a piece of ground beef with the chicken that we had in there before. And it looks like, um, it looks like there's fly activity. So we shall let it go for a little bit longer before I put it back in there. But I'm going to go ahead and give them some of these uh, sunflower seeds. Oh, I'm going to move the bucket because there's a bunch of flies right here. There we go. So I don't go in there when I do sunflower seeds. I just throw them. Throw them in. They go berserk. Black oil sunflower seeds, I think is what they're called, and they have a lot of beneficial properties to uh, help with the regrowth of feathers and just overall general wellness of the chickens. Try to scatter them around so that they can feel like they're scavenging a bit and half of those came back into the yard maybe we'll grow sunflowers <laughs> threw them up into the wind just came right back
Okay, so like I said, the I put ground beef in there when I brought it back, when I brought it out of the chicken coop. And having it open and near the flies that are on the ground, it appears that they are landing on the meat. Which means I hope they're injecting their eggs, which will turn into maggots, which will turn into, yay, free food for the chickens. So, maybe another couple hours, maybe two hours, and I'll hang it again. We have another day tomorrow of 80 degree temperatures. And then it's back down into the 50s and 60s. So, uh, like I said in one of the previous update videos, I don't think I chose the right time of year to try this maggot bucket. But it was worth a shot. And uh, if it doesn't work out, we'll try it again next spring when the temperatures come back up. Uh-oh. Is he upset? Yeah. He wants down. He, want, he doesn't have shoes on. You don't have shoes on, buddy. Anyways. Just figured I'd give y'all another uh, maggot bucket update since I haven't done one in a while. But uh, I'll come back and do another clip when I hang it back up and see where the... Uh, see where we stand uh, with the flies. So... See you in a minute. All right, so the bucket is now in the shade. There's still some flies out. And uh, so I'm going to go check on it here in a minute and see if I need to put it back up in the coop. But I wanted to grab this uh, ladder in here. I've been thinking I want to it's kind of busted up but it's got a couple I mean I could probably drill a screw into there and fix it so now that I look at it I probably will fix it before I put it in there um, but and I think I have another rung whatever you want to call it that I can uh, attach maybe in the bottom part and then this will go back up here it's just detached right now but um, I want to give them something to climb on. Ever since we've been here, they haven't had a, uh, you know, chickens like to roost. And maybe we don't have the, we don't really have the space inside the little coop that they sleep in to roost. Um, so if I put it out in the bigger area, they might just enjoy being on top of the ladder or being on one of the rungs and just chilling out, uh, taking a nap. But if I'm not mistaken, don't they want to roost where they're like enclosed so they feel safe. Um, anyways, I'm gonna work on that. I figured I'd come check it out before I made a decision on whether or not I was gonna put it in there. But uh, let's go ahead and go check on the maggot bucket. Still a little warm. The sun is still out, but this area is shaded now. So, oh, they're ready to eat again, it looks like. Yeah, it's cooled down a little bit. Yeah, see, there's no flies now. There's some in here. And they are all over that meat. And it stinks. Let's go ahead and hang it back up and see if we can't. Oh, there's ants too. I don't know if that's a good thing. Ants are not necessarily a good thing. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work. They're going to all want to come out. I better get them a treat. And this is a plant that is going to eventually be taken out because we don't want it here. So 
I don't mind grabbing these branches and making them useful. Neighbors honking their horn. I should have brought my knife with me. I guess I'll just break off the branches. I can't get it off. Hopefully that's uh, enough to distract him away from the door. Ooh, I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. I guess they're not in the mood for these leaves. Sometimes they really get going on them. There we go. Nice and tight now. Still got a little sun on top. That won't be for much longer. Um, usually, when I throw these, uh, when I throw these little ferns, little fronds in here, they go crazy for them. They're eating them up a little bit, but today they had a nice big serving of grain. They had the sunflower seeds today, and so they're not. They're not going crazy over the ferns like they uh, usually do. So I got the bucket hanging. Uh, when I put the lid on the bucket, there were flies all over the meat. Also a bunch of ants in there. I don't necessarily like the ants, but uh, definitely a good sign that the flies are in there. So we'll check the bucket tomorrow. This is gonna be the end of the video for today. Um, <clears throat> please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. It lets uh, other people know you enjoyed the video and they'll be more inclined to watch it. Uh, if you like our channel, please subscribe. We would appreciate that. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.